Hey George, firstly, are you okay? How are you feeling? Because it's quite an impact. Yeah, quite an impact. Feeling fine, thank you. Um, disappointed, upset, frustrated for for everyone really. Um, we would have scored points today if the car was fast. And obviously, you know, going for an overtake on a Mercedes, I don't think Williams has done that for, for a long, long time. So, um, pleased, but ultimately, yeah, frustrated. So you were furious by the sounds of it and by the looks of it. You've seen some replays yet. Would you still feel the same? It's between all of the drivers, we've had this gentleman's agreement that when there's a faster car approaching with the DRS, you don't jolt the steering wheel at the very last moment. I pulled out, I got the slipstream, I pulled out, and just as I pulled out, Valtteri moved very slightly, and that just put me offline and put me onto the wet stuff. And in perfectly dry conditions on a very not ordinary circuit, it's dangerous, um, let alone on a very narrow track when we are turning and there's wet patches. So an unfortunate incident, but equally it's been inevitable an incident like that would occur when drivers make small moves like this. And it's the smallest of moves, but when you're going at 220 miles an hour and you're going 30 miles an hour quicker than the car ahead, it's massive. What went through your mind when that happened, especially at the speed in which you were going? Well, obviously, I was very f***ed off and frustrated with with him at the at the time. You know, I'm fighting for P9. A P9 for for him is absolutely nothing, you know, almost meaningless. And he did a very he did a move that you would you would do if you were fighting for victory on the last lap of the race. So you know, it begs the question why he would do that for P9, and uh, perhaps if it was another driver, he wouldn't have. So. Um, you know, that's what went through my mind. Like I said, he's not fully to blame. I don't think I'm fully to blame, but it could have been avoided. And I think this is um, a good example for the stewards that any very minor movements like this will will create crashes. And here we are. Are you going to have a chat to him? Because his view is that it was it was more your fault than his fault. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm sure that when he's within the car, he's he's going in a straight line and done a little move to the right, and next thing, you know, I'm in beside of him. I'm sure from from his perspective, he feels like it's my fault. You know, I've got no doubt of that, about that. But equally, he knows the closing speeds of these cars when you're behind slipstream and DRS, and he knows that is not the correct thing to be doing. And um, like I said, if you're fighting for the victory in the last lap of the race, maybe, but not in conditions like this and not mid-race when he's in P9, which is nothing.